Good morning, it's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets uh, for the 27th of March 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so we've had a gap higher this morning in European equities, uh, led by Asian market rebound, uh, Dow surging, I think the third best surge, Dow uh, 670 point surge. Belies fact that stock market is on the brink of an absolute breakdown. It certainly is the fact. Uh, you've got a, it's a very volatile, very emotive moves in the market at the moment. Okay, so that's the status quo at the moment. Uh, Euro, Euro, US market certainly rebounding, Asian markets rebounding, and obviously European markets certainly gapping higher as well. And the reason why they've gapped higher is because they certainly, certainly have caught wind that the, um, the US and China certainly seem to be working on some sort of backdoor deal uh, with regards to uh, a p potential resolution. Of the uh, current crisis, so obviously given the uh, the actual uh, trade war tariffs, etc. But given the fact that Mr. Trump is Mr. Trump, um, again he's, he's involved in some sort of sex scandal at the moment, uh, adultery and affair, etc. And he's, he's involved in other things as well. So he's a despicable man. Uh, but basically, he's um, he's obviously uh, risk negative for equities. Uh, he certainly has been, uh, given the fact that he's got his own scandal, his own little, uh, legal team certainly have resigned as well because he won't take their counsel. Also, you've got the situation regarding China and his trade tariffs, etc., and protectionist uh, rhetoric. Uh, certainly, individuals have lost faith in him as well, hence the reason why the US dollar certainly has been on a decline as well. So there's a lot of factors at play, okay? Uh, that in and of itself has caused the euro to surge okay also the euro surge yesterday due to hawkish comments as well uh, talking about a potential rate hike and that obviously in and of itself has certainly led to weakness in european equities so let's see if that can continue especially given the fact that yesterday's dac certainly uh, broke to new lows euro stocks as well and the french cac has held that double bottom so let's look into the technical picture in terms of the fundamentals really it's the only the, the story really is all about um, china and protectionism Let's see if that's the situation uh, at present. In terms of uh, the uh, economic data for the rest of the day, German import prices have certainly been weaker this morning, so that should put pressure on the euro. Uh, in terms of the rest of the day, you've got European uh, business climate, industrial confidence, consumer confidence numbers coming out around 9 p.m. or 9 a.m., should I say. And then US data, you've got Red Book Index. Uh, Mr. Fed, FOMC member Bostick is speaking, so I'll keep an eye on that. And New York crude. Uh, oil stocks uh, data coming out later on um, in the evening so again that could be major uh, could have an impact on on oil as well so keep an eye on that okay so that's the status quo at present in terms of the market let's look at the uh, the actual technical picture now looking at the german dax so uh, that was a monster gap higher this morning uh, very very impressive as you can see here uh, looking at your 10 minute chart you can see it's, it's been an impressive gap yesterday's pivot low was 11727 Given the daily chart, as you can see, we're making lower lows and lower highs. We're in this channel now, okay? So where do we go from here? That's the question. I mean, you've got, uh, in terms of next levels, I mean, you've got gap to fill, which you already have there. In terms of any other gaps, let's have a look. You've got a gap here, which we more or less tested. Nothing really major in terms of gaps. Where are you in no man's land for now? As you can see, the situation regarding uh, trade protectionism, uh, quotas so on and so forth certainly has been risk negative for european equities okay and let's see how that continues now you made lower lows lower highs uh, do we continue to make a lower low that's the question okay that's the question now european equities here because of the stronger euro european uh, euro obviously given the fact that we've had a, a monster rally in the euro you can see here on the four hour chart we're at about one two four sixty bouncing from that one to one level so it's been a 300 point rallying the euro which in turn obviously hurts exports so just bear that in mind okay in terms of the picture there and obviously raising rates certainly isn't going to be boarding well for european equities okay going back to the german dax then uh, going to the 60 minute chart okay uh, we're back into that key resistance zone now around the 12,000 level you've got the unfilled gap above at 12,100 let's see if we can close that okay 10 minute chart for now as you can see resistance Having said that, though, bear in mind you've got this inverted head and shoulders formation. So let's see if where we can make this right head or right shoulder, shall we say, before we can start to reverse. So keep an eye on that inverted head and shoulders formation for now. Okay, in terms of the um, French CAC, let's move on to that now. As you can see, we've gapped higher from that 5,040 pivot low. We've bounced up almost 100 pips. Okay, uh, again, you've got a gap filled below at 5,060. Can we close that gap? That's the question. 
let's just keep an eye on that for now we were looking to retest the breakout at what 5120 let's see how much we retrace before we can eventually close the gap above at 15160 okay let's see how the market obviously unfolds there 60 minute chart the french cat really it's lower lows and lower highs uh, until obviously we made this double bottom so from my perspective this double bottom will provide the french cat fails to uh, break or uh, uh, fails to hold sorry 5050 um, bulls certainly should be in control here on the European equities. That's my interpretation. Okay, in terms of uh, the FTSE 100, let's see what's happening here. You've made a double bottom. You're putting a bullish engulfing candle. Now the question is, how much? How much do we consolidate? That's the question. 10-minute chart. You can see we've obviously thrusted higher. I was expecting that resistance to hold at 5980. That hasn't been the case. Okay, you had a pivot higher 5995. Looking to potentially retest this zone at 5960. Okay, look for a release, a, a retracement. So a retracement, from my perspective, would be down to here, then potential rally, or even down to here, and then potential rally. That's my that's state. That's my understanding and my interpretation. So, in terms of the FTSE 160 minute chart, again, like I said, you're into that Fib 61. Okay, we need to consolidate first before we attempt to uh, move higher. Daily chart certainly has put in a bullish engulfing. Next potential move, you are expecting probably up to here, around the 7070 level. So watch out there. okay that's basically where we stand then 10 minute chart at the moment really from my perspective is looking for consolidation before we actually attempt to move higher euro stocks last but not least again like i explained yesterday uh well, this morning i should now should i say uh, euro stocks certainly remain weak on the back of that uh, stronger euro okay hawkish ecb as well so those two factors adding together certainly i put a negative sort of twist on things again looking for a retracement here again you're looking at an inverted head and shoulders formation so let's see how much we can retrace before we actually attempt to push higher so that's basically the uh, focus will be on the retracement okay i think that's a good summation really of european equities please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye